Start from this position, and we're gonna we're gonna work from there. So again, here I'm putting my hips are heavy. I'm putting pressure on the head. I'm snaking through. My hand grabs a wrist, and I get my Kimura grip. Right. This leg's getting tucked in. I'm stepping here, I'm pulling back, and launching myself back. Hands at the weak point. Boom. Now he's got a couple options. Number one option really is just to turn into me, to try to beat me to it, right? That's what he wants to do, right? But for me to defeat that, I've got to follow him. So as he starts to turn into me, I need to tuck this hand. Can you guys see it from there? Get up to where you can see. Tuck this hand into his sternum or his chest. And I got to follow him. So as he continues to turn into me, boom, I got to slide that knee in. All right? Now, as he continues to follow, again, leg comes through. When I get here, I need to start thinking about transitioning. I can still hold it, because as he continues to follow, boom, my legs are in, release, get to my seatbelt, got the back. Okay guys, if I need to, I can flatten them out and work from there. So one more, one more time, make sure you guys can see that detail, so move as you need to move. Press the head down, the hips are heavy, into him. Snake my arm through. Grab his wrist. Catch my Kimura grip. Make sure you guys are tucking this leg so you don't roll over it. Here, from here I'm launching back. Oh, to get back. Hamstring on the weak part of the on the weak part of the connection, which is his hands. Break it. As he starts to sit up, press. As that hole opens up right there, my knee goes into that hole. As he continues to get up, I follow. Follow, follow, follow. Readjust the seatbelt. You guys got that? Can you see it again? All right. Let's try this again. Let's work on this one for a little bit and then we'll show one more technique for live training. Count of three. One, two, three.